If you clicked on today's video, you are looking for the best jump shot for your build in NBA 2K22. Well, you came to the right place. In today's video, not only will I be explaining what has changed in jump shots from season one to season two, because yes, I'm sure you have noticed a change in your jump shot, whether you are shooting better or worse. But I will also be showing you guys the new updated best settings for shooting, the new updated best tips and tricks to shoot, especially with no shot meter, the best badges for shooting regardless of your three-point rating and then of course the best jump shots for you and the jump shot i use in nba 2k22 make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and let's get into it what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double hd and i am back at it with yet another banger in today's video i got a jump shot for you guys especially for your season two now before you guys skip or any of that stuff drop a like on the video right now if you if your jump shot that you were using in season one you feel like it's changed like it's it's awkward it's faster it's slower maybe the green window's a little messed up let me know if the shooting's been a little off to you okay drop a like on the video right now if that's true subscribe to the channel if you guys are new because i got y'all with this jump shot video today not only do i got you with the jump shot video i'm gonna be showing you guys i'm gonna be talking about what has changed in season two with the shooting because there has definitely been some changes i'm sure that you've noticed just by shooting around in season two i'm also going to talk about the new best settings badges tips and tricks and the new two jump shots i would um use and the jump shot i'm going to use in nba 2k22 season two now i'm going to explain to you guys what has been passed and what has changed in season two with the jump shot shooting um that you guys are probably wondering about usually i always say that 2k never patches specific jump shots and they they don't they literally don't ever they never do that i'm telling you right now it's a huge myth that a bunch of people have but they don't but today in this pa recent patch they have definitely indirectly patched some shots and changed the shooting on nba 2k22 basically what happened is they probably were messing with something else and then when they messed with the coding and something else it changed the coding and the jump shots that's how coding works that's how ga making games works so yeah that definitely happened i'm gonna tell you that right now now a lot of content creators been talking about how the shooting has changed a lot of stage players have been talking about how their jump shots are a little different a little off so i tweeted this the other day and a whole lot of people agreed with me so basically what i said on twitter make sure you guys follow me on twitter if you guys haven't already i said 2k 100 adjusted jump shots not the actual shooting but just jump shots i was using dante exum in season one and it was chicken y'all know it was chicken in season two it was slower and awkward i want to show y'all that too i changed my jump shot to a different base and now it's fine i also see other people depending on their base saying the same thing so basically what i noticed with my jump shot y'all is that it just seemed a lot slower and it also seemed like it was changing jump shot speeds more often depending on where i was and it was also just more awkward and the green window even seemed lower now depending on your base in your jump shot your jump shot either got faster or it got slower or it got more inconsistent or the green window decreased okay there's a lot of different things that could have happened with your jump shot and that's why today i'm in, i'm going to be coming at you guys with the new best jump shot and i always use dante exum i, I want to keep using it now unless this patch is reversed then i'm gonna have to stop using dante exum okay now here's a video of my season one jump shot me using it in season one okay it's fast it's good it's chicken and then here's season two it just looks awkward and it's so much more slower it may not be a huge difference just seeing it on the screen but when you're actually playing it's a big difference but anyways here are some clips on the screen of my new jump shot uh, i'm gonna be showing you guys the new jump shot as well but here's some gameplay it's extremely fast very fast off catch and shoots and that's why if you want to go three out of four instead of four out of four go ahead and do so and don't i don't have a problem that you, you shouldn't either because his jump shot is extremely fast it's gonna be hard for defenders to get to it it's quick easy to time has a high green window and it's very good in this season too especially after the indirect patch to jump shots but anyways let's go ahead and get straight into the business okay y'all so we got some stuff to go through but before we show you guys the jump shot make sure you guys don't skip this stuff because if you guys do you're gonna be like oh why can i shoot how do you shoot better i have your jump shot well it's because you skipped all these parts of the video so you're not gonna be as good as shooting anyways let's go ahead and start with our settings so we're gonna go to the controller settings vibration you do not get vibration when you shoot 
but you may as well have it on when you're dribbling or whatever you don't have to have it on but i just leave it on but you're not gonna get vibration when you shoot they took that out a while ago shot meter make sure this is off okay i don't care if you don't know how to shoot with a shot meter off okay now if you you're probably wondering why do i need the shot meter off you need it off because it actually gives you a green light boost when it is off okay i'm gonna also show you guys how to shoot better with no shot meter later on in this video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that let's keep it pushing so shot timing i do shots only pro stick function now if you're a good dribbler you probably know pro stick functions best on drill moves because you know a lot of the dribbling it can make you shoot and you don't want to be shooting very late because if you're right stick because you're dribbling so i just had that on another thing to do is go to your regular settings you don't want to put all shot feedback or shot feedback on all shots this is that thing in the top right hand corner of when you're on defense and when you're on offense it's going to show you the percent of your shot um what it was contested and if it was slightly late early green you want to know all that stuff because if you're not timing your shot right or if you're taking bad shots you want to know okay and if you are going to use shot meter please don't you can change your shot meter color right here another thing you're going to want to do is scroll all the way over to jump shot splash this is the new settings um in 2k22 they didn't have this before but um, you can basically choose any of these little graphics under your player. It really doesn't matter. But once you do select one, um, you're going to click the right trigger and you're going to go over to this spot. There actually are some green effects here that actually will make shooting weird. So, for example, like um, there's basically one that has like a diamond above your head. That one's going to like make your stamina bar invisible for some reason. And it's going to make shooting like like give you like these long arm animations i don't know why but i use electric just use that one it's, it looks the coolest or whatever word you want to use that's not a real word but it looks the best anyway so you may as well just put that on so that's what i would recommend there the other, another thing i'm going to include is the best green light animations here so park jump shot emails mop mopping is a good one not all these are going to pop up every single time but yeah mopping's a good one the uppercut is a good one. There's other ones that you could buy, like Peekaboo is a good one. Um, all those, good, you know, there, there's some good ones. You're gonna be able to tell which ones are good, which ones are not. But the one I've been using is mopping you up. This one has not, you know, I mean, you, you guys know how it is, bro. Some jump shot emails do make your shooting weird. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's this is the one I use right here. Now next up is the tips and tricks. There's gonna be a lot in this section. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to shoot better, um, how to shoot with the no shot meter, what to look for, how to time your shots, all that stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to buy jump shot boost. If you don't have jump shot boost, what are you even doing? You can either go to this section of current gen on next gen. It is just uh, uh, in the menus. It's going to be like in the start menus. It's going to be in here, right? You can also buy boost on the phone right here on current gen. Literally buy jump shot boost. Trust me, it's worth it. You, there's no, I don't care if you're a play shot. I don't care what your build is. You got to make sure you have jump shot boost on. Another thing you're going to want to do, especially if you're a guard, is you're going to want to have a lot of stamina. So whether you need to go to the Gatorade facility over here, whether it's on current or next gen, to get your drills in for the week, or if you need to get the gym rat badge by on current gen, hitting level 40 or winning an NBA finals in my career, or on next gen doing those 50 drills, make sure to go ahead and do that because the more energy you have, the better chance you have at hitting your shot. I'm all, and right before we get into the my court to show you guys more shooting tips, I'm just going to give it, put this in here as well, just in case you skipped earlier. Make sure your shot meter is off. I don't know how many times I got to say this. Please take your shot meter off. It is worth it. I'm telling you right now, please do it. So now that we're in the my court, I'm going to be showing you guys not only drills where you want to practice your shooting, but how to practice your shooting and all that stuff and just how to be a better shooter. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is not do the drill I'm doing right now. Okay. This is the shoot around drill. Never do this drill for some reason on this drill. Look it, I'm gonna get a lot of full bars. And if you guys know what a full bar is, a full bar is basically when you time your shot perfectly, but it doesn't give you a green. And that's just gonna happen, right? Look at any time I play, there's certain animations that give off like a full bar. So if I do that little step thing where I, you know, it's just like a follow through animation, basically. I did green that one right there, but for some reason in the shoot around, it just doesn't give you greens when it's supposed to. Um, I know that sounds like an excuse I would be giving if I couldn't shoot well, but that's actually the thing with the shoot around. So don't practice your jump shot in the shoot around because it's not really going to help you as much as you want it to. So drills you're going to want to do the practice um, in the my court is going to be the ball machine. Every just, 
that's an easy drill. It's going to be the same latency or the personal workout where you invite an NBA player and you go full court. That's also a good one for drill moves. But for now, we're going to do the ball machine one because this is just the best one for shooting. Now, by the way, all you have to do is click the pass button to get the ball out of the machine and you could just shoot unlimited shots. Now, a lot of people are that, especially people that are using the shot meter, they're probably wondering, okay, how do you get better with shooting without the shot meter on? Or how do you practice your shot? Or what do you look for to time your shot? What do you do to time your shot? Now, there's a lot of ways you could time your shot and there's a lot of ways to get better at shooting without the shot meter. Now, getting better at shooting without the shot meter is simple. You go to the my court and you practice. Now, as you can see, I'm greening right here. You can go to each spot on the floor and the best way to practice is keep shooting until you get five greens in a row from each spot. As soon as you have five greens in a row from each spot, you know, that means you got your jump shot down. You're low key chicken. Um, you're going crazy, right? And you can just go to each spot and keep going and practicing your shot here. You can practice catch and shoots. You could, you know, do some dribble moves, lose a little stamina just so it's like in game. You know, you could practice your quick stop. You could do all that great stuff, okay? Now, when it comes to actually timing your shot, there is a several different ways to time your shot. Now, I'm gonna slow down some of these jump shots so you guys can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to timing a shot. Now, the first one is muscle memory. So let's say I green a shot, okay? So that one was white. Let's go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna act like I'm y'all. I'm just gonna keep practicing. Oh, I shot another white. Let's go ahead, call for the ball. Oh, there's a green. So as soon as I shoot a green, I'm gonna be like, mentally, I'm gonna be like, okay, I need to time it exactly like that. Now that's called muscle memory. That's what I usually use is just muscle memory. That's why I always need to get, you know, warmed up a little bit for my first couple of park games. But yeah, I just use muscle memory most of the time. Now that's one way to do it. Um, if you're new to 2K, that's not something I'd re probably recommend. Um, is muscle memory because it's gonna be just weird for you now the second way is looking at three different cues now what a cue is is basically something you're looking at your my player considering you have your shot meter off you can't look at the shot meter you have to look at something on your my player to signify a point where you need to release your shooting button whether it's x or square by the way do not use the right stick to shoot uh, some people be asking me that i don't know why do not use the right stick use um a button do not use the right stick anyways um so you can either look at your wrist when you shoot the ball and once your wrist gets to the highest point or once it flicks that's when you release x right or you can look at your feet that's another good one so when you green look at your feet and when to release it and then once you find that cue just keep using it over and over whether it's your feet your wrist or i would say uh, once the ball reaches it or you can look at the ball right so that would be the three cues the your feet your hands or the ball so once the ball or the wrist gets to the highest point or once your feet um you know depending on what your jump shot base is it's kind of hard to explain with the feet but you'll understand once you green one shot and you're looking at your feet you'll understand the cue but yeah so yeah those are the two ways you can time a jump shot one muscle memory or you can use a cue to look at your player and so oh once this wrist gets to this point once the ball gets to this point once my feet do this that's when i release x and i can look at that every time i shoot a jump shot so yeah you can pick q or muscle memory and once you do do that make sure to practice in the my court in the ball machine drill and just keep shooting around so you get a hang of it the latency might be a little different than park but you'll get the gist and it'll be easy to adjust and it's just easy to practice your shot in the mic anyways let's move on to the next tips so next we're going to talk about the bad days now for my build all of our builds are going to vary you might have a 99 three-pointer you might have a 95 three-pointer you might have a 50 three-pointer you might have a 58 you might have a 78 you might have a 75 i have a 68 three-pointer at 99 that is a 64 three-pointer when it is maxed out before 99 and i shoot very consistent from the three-point line with this build um and yeah so ever since the recent patch like i said earlier in the video they have changed things around so i went ahead and changed my jump shot but the badges are also a little different too now i have 11 badges on my shooting um and this is for my two-way playmaker i also got an extra badge at level 39 but yeah i have 11 shooting badges here and this is what i've been running now usually i give you guys one bad setup there's actually multiple bad setups i'm gonna give you but regardless of how many shooting badges you have i'm gonna tell you guys the most important badges okay the most important badge is sniper i don't care what your build is i don't care what you do i don't care what your three-point rating is sniper needs to be maxed out 
sniper basically makes you sh make more whites and it makes you get more greens okay um especially with poor shot timing so you could get a late and it just goes in you know what i mean um you could get a slightly early slightly late and it just goes in sniper is a must it's the most overpowered shooting badge hot zone hunter is obviously the second best shooting badge make sure you do get your hot zones if you don't know how to check for your hot zones basically all you're going to do is you want to go to play a game you're going to go to your team stats you're going to want to actually you want to go to player stats my bad click right stick on your player and you're just going to keep going all the way over here until you get to hot zones and boom there's my hot zones i have one cold zone and i have hot zones around the entire floor so clearly every almost basically every three every three point shot i'm shooting a gold hot zone hunter is going to pop up right so that's very important so back to the shooting bet is yes sniper hot zone hunter Net third would definitely be stop and pop especially if you're a guard basically, basically after you're dribbling and you stop and shoot it gives you a boost so if you're a center a spot up don't you don't really need to use that lucky number seven it basically boosts uh, now on bronze you can put it higher but i put it on bronze because for the first seven seconds of the shot clock it gives you a 15 percent green light boost on bronze so i just put it on bronze because the amount of times i'm gonna be shooting in the first seven seconds isn't gonna be a lot but when in the first seven seconds of a shot clock, I'm going to be three hunting because I have a 15% boost. Uh, blinders is going to lower the contest from people on the side of you. So I, I'll put that on at least bronze. But for a lot of guards, I would max that out. Um, and then next would be green machine at, you know, the fifth spot, the sixth spot of uh, green machine. Basically, you have to green like three shots in a row for green machine to activate. So I don't really like that. You know what I mean? Especially as a two way. You know, am I going to be greening three? The amount of time is going to be greening three threes in a row. You know what I mean? That's not going to happen too often. I'm not saying I'm not going to green my shots, but you know, I'm going to take a dunk. By the time I have three greens, the game is probably going to be over. You know what I mean? And I'm not. And at that point, if I'm greening three in a row, do I really need an extra boost? Probably not. I'm just shooting well. Um, now, if you're a spot up build, you can put on catch and shoot, corner specialist, limitless spot up. You know, if you're a guard, like a play shot, limitless spot up chef are gonna be and mismatch expert mismatch expert is probably the second best shooting badge if you're like a small play shot on the threes but yeah for my two-way these are the best bet is you know sometimes if i really want to get dangerous you know i could put this on bronze put this on gold just so you know get blinders better but yeah this is the bad setup i use on my two-way for everybody asking now we are finally going to talk about the jump shot you probably skipped to this part if you skip to this part you still can't shoot after this video it's because you skipped all the important stuff on me giving tips on for you how to shoot so you gotta probably go back and watch that anyways yes 2k had a huge now i always say this 2k never patches shooting and they don't but sometimes they'll patch something else or they'll update something else and it'll affect the shooting indirectly that's just kind of how gaming and coding works so yeah that's what happened here so dante exum is no longer the best jump shot and for me to say that is crazy especially if you're a loyal of mine because i've been using dante xm damn near every year and it has definitely been the best and it usually is the best until they came out of this patch but look at all these jump shots i got so many jump shots here that i've tested hours of timing hours of testing in the park hours of creating and labbing jump shots and i have come up with the best base with several options to give you for your builds in stage and park for your jump shot here now we're going to be using the same base but i have two options for you okay now the first jump shot is going to be this one right here base three base three is if not the fastest one of the fastest bases in the game the problem with xm now since the patch that it's very slow and awkward and not only that the jump shot speed feels like it changes within each jump shot more often than not now with base three i've tested it out both jump shots are gonna have base three uh, another th tip to give you if you want to make your own jump shot bases are the only thing that are going to affect your green window your green percentage your white percentage and all the actual statistical stats based on your jump shot the releases are just for show so when i when i told you guys earlier your cues and how to time your shot what you're going to use the releases for are to make it easier to know when to time your shot okay so that's the only thing the releases are 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 um for so basically when i give you these two jump shots know they're going to they're basically the same jump shot it's just which one do you think you can time easier that's the decision you have to make so we have base three release Ru rudy gay release two paul george you can go 100 percent uh, speed or three out of four 
I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do because the catch and shoots with base three are really fast. So I might even go three out of four. Um, you're going to want to go 60, 40 bledding on this. And yeah, base three is definitely just the best jump shot overall. And yeah, the next jump shot I'm going to show you guys is the same base. It's just a different option for you guys. Now, this jump shot is jump shot three. Ray Allen release one and release two Rudy Gay. 100% speed. Once again, you can go three out of four or four out of four speed. 55, 45 blending. Now, you're probably asking me, which jump shot am I going to use out of these two and why? Well, I'm going to be using this jump shot right here, the first one I showed you guys. And the reason why is I can still go four out of four on this and time it easier. But with the other one, for some reason, those releases made the jump shot seem just a little harder than time and a little almost faster than time, even though it really isn't. So, yeah, this is this jump shot, in my opinion, is just easier to time. So, yeah, this is the jump shot I'm going to be using in all the clips I was showing. I was using base three, but these are the best releases I found. And this is the new best jump shot for all, especially my ISO builds. This is a great jump shot for play shots as well. So if you're a play shot, you know, really whatever you're doing, it's still, it's really a good jump shot. And the best thing about this jump shot is that it's so much faster off of your fingertips. So it's so much harder for people to contest, especially a two way when they have to worry about your rim run or your drive. Oh my God, it, it is going to be tough for people to guard you when you have this jump shot down okay so yeah make sure you test out both jump shots let me know in the comments which one you guys like better but for the people coming to this video wondering what my jump shot is this is the one right here hopefully this video helped you guys at all and hopefully i explained the new patch the new season two and how it affected jump shots well so you guys can understand and hopefully you guys are back to shooting greens let me know how the jump shots work for you guys down below in the comments make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helped you out in any way and subscribe to this channel if you guys are new some of y'all be watching multiple multiple videos of mine and you're still not sub make sure to hit that sub button one million on the way but anyways it's been your boy henry ak double hdf and i'm out y'all peace